Hello guys, this is our lecture in acids and bases. So in this lecture, guys, we will discuss the properties, reactions of acids and bases, pH and pOH calculation, and some calculations of pH of cubic acid that involves a equilibrium constant. So let's cut to the chase and let's start with the discussion. Okay. So the acid uh, generates a hydrogen ions or hydronium ions in the solution. It comes from the Latin word acidus, means sharp or sharp. Kasi kapag tinikman mo siya, siya ay maasin. So the more hydrogen ions or hydronium ions the solution contains, the more acidic it is. Kasi nga, maraming hydrogen ion activities dun sa may solution natin. Okay? And then the properties of an acid, it tastes sour, maasin, conducts electricity to its complete dissociation when dissolved in water. It is corrosive. So it can break down certain substances like metals. Okay? And reacts strongly with metals and it will generate a hydron, hydrogen gas and turns blue litmus paper into red. So what are the household materials of the acids na ikita natin in our everyday life? Not just the household materials. We have the acetic acid the vinegar, citric acid that contains in lemon and oranges, ascorbic acid, vitamin C for the immune system ng ating katawan, and then sulfuric acid for the production of fertilizer, and then car batteries in that contains car batteries. Yan yung mga lead acid batteries natin na ipita natin sa ating mga motor and cars if you are familiar for that. And then what is a base? A base is a solution that contains an excess hydroxide ions based on the Archimedes theory. Another word for base is alkali. Kaya nga yung alkali earth metals natin is kapag it, when they contain a hydroxide ions, sila ay mga strong base. And then bases are substances that can accept hydrogen ions based from the Bronsted and Lowry theory. So what are the properties of base? No, na siya ay pagkahinaan mo, madalas. Madalas siya. At di ba, isabon natin kapag nag-use tayo, siya ay madalas. Then siya ay bitter, mapait. Corrosive din siya. Kaya nga ginagamit ito ako bumili sa hardware. Meron tayong mga lye na pang puno ng ating mga tube, mga PVC pipes. And then, can conduct electricity. Sir, bakit po siya nagkakonduct ng electricity? Kasi nga, guys, uh, complete dissociation din ang nagaganap sa anya when you dissolve it in water, okay? And it do not react with metals like acid and then turn red litmus paper into blue. That's the indicator for the our base. Kapag hindi siya nag, yung red natin, kapag hindi nag blue, ibig sabihin, acid siya or it can be neutral like water. So ano ba mga uses of base natin? Ano mga, ano natin? Mga base natin ay ganaan sa mga sabon, commonly used na mga di. Ganaan natin sa mga base. Mga sabon and mga panggawa ng sabon, mga detergents, basta cleaning materials, okay? And then, the hydroxide ion kasi can interact strongly with certain substance such as dirt and grease, okay? Na kung saan, this is the principle for the cleansing agent of the soap. And then, chalk or oven cleaner are examples of familiar products that contains bases. And yung dugo natin is a basic solution. So, that's the basis of base. And then, paano ba natin malalaman, sir? Let's suppose, let's say, we have a unknown solution. Paano po natin malalaman, sir, kung yun po ay acids or base? Okay. Okay. Kapag ang pH natin is less than 7, siya ay acidic. We are familiar for that kasi pinag-aralan natin ito dati pa. And kapag greater than 7, siya ay basic. And what are the common pH na makikita natin sa ano mga pH na makikita natin sa ating mga ating liberty life? So this is it. We have the vinegar around 2.8, lemon around 2, apple around 3.3, and so and so forth. And as you would notice, guys, yung blood natin is basic. And then yung water natin is neutral, so pH 7. And actually, sa mga diniinom natin ito, big, it can be either acidic or basic due to the dissolved uh, carbon dioxide in the water. Yung sa mga dissolved gases natin. So, yun. Okay? So, ito yung mga to. pH scale na rin is to 0 to 14. 0 to 7, 0 to 6.9, I shall say, is uh, acidic. And then 7.1 to 14 is basic. And actually, meron pang naging negative na pH. And we will tackle that later on. So, pH scale, ayan, ganyan. Let's suppose that the, for example, okay, if one solution has a pH of 1, and the second solution has a pH of 2. Okay, the first solution is not twice as acidic as the second. 
it is 10 times more acidic. Sir, bakit po ganun? Kasi nga, hindi mo titignan yung ating pH. But rather, the concentration of the hydrogen ion in the solution. So, how would you calculate this? Diba? Antilog of 1, antilog of 2. And then, ma kung ikakompare mo siya, the concentration of the pH of 1 has a higher concentration than the pH of 2. Yan, kapag kinalculate mo siya sa inyong calculator. And ito nga ulit, the, again, the pH scale. So, sir, what will happen when we mix the acid and base? Nakadepende yun, okay? The, kapag yung acid and base natin, magkakaroon sila ng neutralization reaction to form an acid-base mixture or a salt, di ba? Salt and water. Now, sir, siya ba ay magiging neutral? Yun ay naadepende sa may pH level or the concentration of our base and acid. Now, in this case here, as you can see here, mas mataas yung concentration ng base natin isa sa acid natin. So, ang naging product nito is pH is greater than 7. So, it's a basic. It is a basic solution. Kapag generate yung acids and base natin na dito ng ating basic salt. But the point here, guys, is when you mix acid and base, magpo-form siya ng salt. Okay, the common example of here, this guys, is yung ating reaction between the hydrochloric acid, which is an acid here, and then plus the sodium hydroxide. It is a common neutralization reaction which is a base. Okay, magkakaroon tayo ng double displacement reaction here which will form a sodium chloride which is a salt here. Ayan. Plus, ito yung ating water. The OH and H to form a water. So, neutralization will form a salt and water in our aqueous solution. And in, in this case, since this boat here are strong here, ayan, makapag-generate siya ng ating neutral salt which the sodium chloride is the table salt na ginagamit natin as a seasoning sa paalat ng ating mga card. Okay, so mga uh, pasaadi lang. Okay, so what are the common salts na magigenerate sa ating acid base reaction? We have the sodium chloride, okay, food flavoring and preservative. Potassium iodide, which is a mixture of a sodium iodide or pwede rin uh, potassium... <coughs> Excuse me. Ayan, so mga... Pagka-hypothetical uh, na lang kayo mga reactions ito. So, potassium iodide, calcium chloride, potassium chloride, calcium carbonate, and ammonium nitrate. So, those are the common natin. So, this one here, pwede siya magaling sa potassium hydroxide and hydroiodic acid. Here din, HCl or calcium hydroxide. And here is pwede HCl and potassium hydroxide. This one here is carbonic acid and calcium hydroxide. And ammonia and nitric acid. So, mga uh, yan pa natin. Ayan, between the reaction of acids and bases because panatin na, it's just a salt. Okay? So what are the common theories of acids and bases? Guys, there are actually seven as defined in inorganic chemistry by, by Atkins. There are seven. But in general chemistry, ang scope lang na mag-uusapan natin dito is the three common theories of acid bases and we are all familiar with it. And those are the Arrhenius, Burns and Lowry, and Lewis Steel. Now, punta na tayo agad kay Arrhenius. Okay. Ang kay Arrhenius daw, the acid generates hydrogen ions when dissolved in water. While base naman is the contain, uh, generates hydroxide ions, a substance that generates hydroxide ions when dissolved in water. And ito yung kanatin niya. Ayan no? Hydrogen and hydroxide. Okay? So, Arrhenius base and Arrhenius acid. When you mix all of this to form a neutralization reaction, it will form an H2O. Okay? So, ganyan yung nangyari sa atin. Next naman natin is yung uh, Bronsted and Lowry. Bronsted and Lowry natin. So, according to Bronsted and Lowry, the acid is a proton donor. When you say a proton here, ang tinitignan natin dito is yung H ions. H ions ang tinitignan natin sa ating Bronsted o Lowry, guys. Okay? The H ions ang tinitignan natin kay Bronsted o Lowry. Ito yung kino-consider niyang proton natin. The our hydrogen ang here. So, it's the acid is a proton donor and base is a proton acceptor. So, ang pan natin dito, the Bronsted Lowry acid must have a removable acidic proton 
and the Brose and Loribis must have a pair of non-bonding electrons. So the common example of this is the reaction of HCl and water. Now the HCl here is the uh, is our panatin. The HCl natin dito here, guys, is yung ating bronsted acid. So this is yung ating bronsted acid, and this one is bronsted base. As definition earlier, meron siyang removable protons. Yes, sir, meron din naman pong removable protons dito. Okay? Yung water natin is, has a amphoteric property which can act acid or base. When a substance is acid, yung imimix na saan niya, so therefore mag-act siya as base. Since meron siyang removable protons here, now it will generate here, the acid, di ba, is a proton donor. So, ibibigay niya protons niya dito sa ating hydrogen. And this one here is the base, is the proton acceptor. That's why it form a hydronium ion. And this one form a chloride ions here. As is stated here, na kung saan meron tayong reaction mechanisms, guys. Na, ayan, ayan. So, these are here. It transferred HCl in a molecular viewpoint. Kapag sinulat sa may apel, Ganyan, form the acid, proton donor, proton acceptor to form hydronium ion and chloride ions. Now we have this one natin. Meron tayong sa ating Bronson and Lowry. Meron tayong conjugate acids and conjugate base na term. So what is that conjugate acid and conjugate base? Okay, let's suppose na on natin. Okay, sir. Paano ano po yung conjugate acid? and conjugate base. You are all familiar to it, pero i-discuss ko lang din muna. Now, suppose that we have an acid here. Sir, bakit po siya naging acid? Kasi nga, it is a nitrous acid. Uh, nasa listahan niya ng mga strong acids sa base natin. So, when it is an acid, so yung water natin sa base, siya yung magiging base kasi nag adjust siya. Hindi na siya mag -adjust. Sana all. Ayun. Ganun. And then here, since it is an acid, maririnig yung proton magpo-form ng ganito. Nawala yung proton niya. Okay? And then dito naman, nag-change siya ng proton. So when an acid po naging product, kabaliktaran, siya yung magiging base, pero meron lang sa may term na una na conjugate base. So acid will form conjugate base in the product, while the base will form a conjugate acid in the product. Why? Because the acid removes proton, nag, uh, nawala yung proton niya. So, Conjugate base yun, kasi naging base siya. Yung base naman natin, kasi siya naging conjugate acid, kasi naging siya ng proton. So, conjugate acid and conjugate base yun. Na conjugate acid and base term based on the process of glory. So, here, saan kaya dito ang conjugate acid and conjugate base? So, this is an acid. So, therefore, ito ang conjugate base natin. Alright. This one is a base. So, ang product niya, base, kabalik na ran, an acid. Conjugate acid. Okay? So, ayan. Okay. So, here, the burst and lowry, yan, which transfer, yan, another examples of a, pa natin, the water here. And then, ayan. And as you can notice here, guys, na mapapasin ninyo, nag-act as acid na yung water natin. Sir, bakit kaya ganun? Kasi nga, yung ammonia natin is a base. When you mix it with water, mag-adjust si water. Siya yung magiging acid kasi nalo mo saan yung base. So therefore, the base will form a conjugate acid of ammonium ion. So bakit ganun? Kasi nga, proton donor na si water. So magta-transfer siya ng proton here kay ammonia to form NH4 positive. So bakit naging positive siya doon? Kasi nga, from neutral, nandagal ka ng proton plus 1, so magiging positive. When it's one here, from neutral, minus 1 proton here, is proton is a positively charged. So neutral, minus 1, that is a base. Conjugate base. Acid, conjugate base, side ion, and then base. Sir, Yung water natin dito as base, plus dito acid. Kasi nga guys, yung water natin has a property na siya ay amphoteric or amphiprotic. When we say amphiprotic or amphoteric, it can act as acid as an acid or a base in our solution. Hindi lang naman water. Meron tayong carbonic acid and, sul and, and bisul bicarbonate and bisulfate. Ayun. So let's kwa natin dito. Let's kwa natin. Okay? Kanin natin sila. Okay, so paano kaya yan? Yung asin ko natin guys, yung ating here, the water. The water here, ayan o. Water, mixed with water, 
kahit saan dyan yung acid or base, eh, kasi ampoteric siya. So, acid and base, it will form a hydronium ion plus hydroxide ion. So, this one here is the acid. Naging acid, so saan yung conjugate base niya? Ito yung conjugate base niya. This one is a base, nag-accept ng proton, so ito yung conjugate acid niya. Acid, conjugate base, base, conjugate acid. So, kapag na may carbonic, bicarbonate natin here, guys, here, ayan, pinag-mix ninyo, yung isa magiging acid, yung isa naman ay magiging base. So, magpo-form, ito yung magiging magiging siya, ay mawawalan siya ng protons here, Ayan, so siya yung magiging bicarbonate. This one here, magiging ng protons kasi ta-transfer niya yung protons sa dito. Plus H2CO3, di ba? Carbonic acid, bicarbonate. And then, ganun din dito sa may bisulfate. And that will be your learning activity to write the equation of the mixture uh, pag mix ng ating bisulfate ions in the solution. Okay? Okay, next naman natin is Yan, kasi nga meron tayong auto-ionization of water that can act as an acid or a base. So, nagkaroon siya ng auto-ionization reaction. So, what you will do here, guys, is you will write the auto-ionization of the bisulfate ion mamaya sa mga learning activities natin. So, hindi ko ma-include siya sa mga learning activity nyo. Hindi ko ma-include siya sa mga. So, mga ganun-ganun bagay. So, here, this is just another echo natin. Mga reaction mechanisms for the proton transfer of non-sublory. So, ayan. The tips. Discuss ko naman na yung conjugate acid base first. So, ayan. Let's have an exercise. That will be on the part 2 of our discussion kasi maubusan tayo ng time. Okay? So, the acid and base strength here, guys. Paano ba natin malalaman ng acid and base strength natin? Ayan. Ayan. Okay. Let's suppose that we have here, okay, in the reaction of... Ayan. Okay, sige, sige. Uh, hindi na ako magkaon dito. Let's have a... Let's say the acid, we have this strong acid, which is here. Now, you mix it with water to form conjugate base, which is the chloride ions. Strong acid will form a weakest base, a weak base. From strong to weak base. Ito po, strong acid will form a weak base in the product when you mix it with water or any other solvent that you use. What about di ko natin yung ating methane? Methane is a weak acid. When it kapag siya yung naging conjugate base in the solution here, siya is strong. Naging strong base siya. So it is a vice versa vice versa relationship na yan. Uh, the strong acid in the reactant, the uh, reactant the strong the strong acid is strong in the reactant, and then it will be weak in the base. So I think you get the point naman na, but that's the idea of it. The strong base will form the weakest base. Pero kapag naman, let's say weak base naman, siya mag-form, ayan o, the strong base in the reactant will form a weak base, a weak acid in the product. Okay? So ayan. So the acid in base strength, ayan, nakadepende yan, the acid in base strength. So, how do you measure the acidity and basicity strength of our substances or acids and bases? Na-depend yan dun sa may mga equilibrium constant nila or KA values. But there's a shortcut for this. We'll just have to memorize the list of strong acid and strong bases na i-discuss ko mamaya. Kapag nakita nyo yung substance na yun, HCl, kabilang siya sa milis na yun. That is a strong acid. So, the principle of this is that, bakit kaya ganun? Kasi nga, nagkakaroon siya ng complete dissociation in water. And idagdag lang natin sa principle natin, yung water is much stronger based than chloride ions. So, the equilibrium will lies far to the right. So, K is not measured. Kasi nga, it is a complete dissociation. But when you... But when the weak acid dissociation is less than 1, kasi nga yung weak acid natin, si weak acid, it will only generate a partial dissociation or only a, uh, a smaller amount of hydronium ion. Not all the acetic acid will be converted into product. May matitirang acetic acid concentration in the solution 
and then meron din tayong products. Dito na mag-aarise yung ating equilibrium constant. Na kung saan, di ba, idagdag lang natin sa principle natin that this acetate is a stronger base than H2O. Kasi nga equilibrium natin always favors to the weaker side. Yun yung pinitaboran niya. So, the equilibrium favors to the left side. So, the K is less than 1. And we all know that the equilibrium constant has is always a constant value na given sa mga equilibrium constant table natin sa ating mga literature. And don't worry guys, yun naman ay open. You don't have to memorize it. Just know how to apply it. Okay? So we're done with the, the, the Bronsted, Lowry, and Arrhenius theory. Punta naman tayo sa ating Lewis theory. Kung ang tinitignan ni Arrhenius is yung ating hydrogen and yung ating pa natin, yung base niya is, is hydroxide. Si Bronsted naman is proton. Si Lewis naman, ang tinitignan niya is yung electron. Okay? Electron pair donor is the base while the acid naman is the electron pair acceptor. Now, ang criteria para maging Lewis base ang isang substance is meron siya dapat na lone pair in its central atom. Yung Lewis acid naman natin lacks lone pair in the central atom. Hindi niyo titignan yung mga terminal atoms yun. But rather, titignan ninyo is yung mga central atoms na kalagay doon. Okay? So it will attack. So electron pair donor and electron pair acceptor to form a product like this. Okay? Base, electron pair donor and then the acid, electron pair acceptor kung makaroon sila ng Okay. So this is a ion product constant for the water which has a constant value of 1.0 times 10 is to negative 14. So bakit kaya ganun? Kasi nga diba the auto ionization of water here, auto ionization of water diba, the, the 2H2O are mixed in equilibrium to form hydronium and hydroxide ion. Now the liquid are not the liquids are not included in equilibrium. So Kc diba, is a product, concentration of the products all over the reactant. So the liquids are not included, so only products. So therefore, hydronium ion times hydroxide ion lang are included. Equals it has a constant value of 1.0 times 10 raised to negative 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. So, nagbabari yung value ng ating equilibrium constant with temperature. Okay? So, ayan. So, calculations, guys. Okay? The pH. pH, yan. Meron siyang, kung natin, it's just a log for the concentration of hydrogen ion or hydroxide ion here. In pure water, ayan yung calculations natin, the hydronium ion, is a pH 7 in pure water. Kasi nga, ano, it's just a square root na pa natin. Since hydronium ion and hydroxide ions are equal. Ayan. Pure water, this one here. Ito. Yan yung mga values natin. At acidic, neutral, and basic solution. Excuse me. And then, ayan. The higher, ayan, other four in pure water, pH is 7. So, mga ganyan. I are all familiar with this. But we'll see this part here. pH, the values, the pH scale, ayan, we discussed it earlier sa ating one natin. So, greater, uh, lesser pH, less than pH 7 is acidic, greater than pH 7 is PC. And other P scales are here, PKW, basta meron siyang negative log, it's a PKW. So, POH is a equals to negative log of hydroxide ions for the concentration na one natin, base naman natin is a POH, okay? Ayan. So, ayan natin. Ayan. And nga pala, dagdag ko lang sa may pan natin sa ating principles that the pH plus pOH is equal to pKW or is equal to 40 natin. Diba? Kaya nga, diba, if you wish to calculate the pH when the pOH is given, just subtract it by 14 and you will get the pH from pOH. And here, this is just a indicator. So, how do we measure the pH? you will use an indicators or litmus papers or pH paper.
to measure the value of our the pH the solution. But in order to get exact yung value, nagamit ka ng pH meter para mas accurate yung ka natin. For more accurate measurement, nagamit ka ng pH meter natin. So, ayan, so yung coke natin, yung nag-advertise is 2.27. Ayan. So, ayan yung mga strong acids natin. Ayan, yung mga strong acids natin, these are the least. And actually, there are, this is, these are the only common strong acids. We have HCl, HBr, I, nitric acid, H2SO4, uh, chloric acid, and perchloric acid. And again, this is just a uh, common acid natin, okay? Common strong acids. Yan, definition. So, kapag ganyan, ginagawa natin dito is negative log. Ayan. Ayan. The concentration of the acid is the same as concentration of the hydronium ion for strong acids due to the complete ionization. And then, para strength ng acids natin, the hydronium ion is the strongest acid that can exist in aqueous solution. So, that's the most dominant, strongest acid in the solution. For bases naman, mga hydroxide ions is the most, the strongest base that can exist in the aqueous solution is the hydroxide ion here. Now, in order to compare the strength of the acids, kung lang natin, let's say we have this sulfurous acid and sulfuric acid, kung sino ang mas maraming hydrogen atoms in its molecular formula, siya ang stronger acid natin. We have this nitrous acid, nitric acid, syempre, higher oxygen, mas mataas yung acidity. Ayan. So, bakit kaya ganun? When you take, when you look at the perspective of our electro potential, electrostatic potential map, mas maraming red regions doon or the mas electronegative regions siya that tends in our organic chemistry siya ay mas reactive. Okay? So, strong base naman yung ating mga alkali earth metals and alkaline, alkaline metals pressure and alkaline earth metals. Those are the strong bases natin when it contains a hydroxide ions. Okay? And ayan, uh, diniscuss ko na rin yan kanina. So, nadako na tayo sa pH and pOH calculation. So, bakit nyo ba discuss yung strong acid, strong base na yung kanina? Ba't hindi nyo po include yung weak acid and weak base? Kasi nga guys, in summary natin, kung sa-summarize natin niya, siya, let's say, itong formula na ito guys is only applicable to strong acids and strong base. Let's say, you want to calculate the pH of a strong acid. Ayan no, negative log agad siya. Kapag strong base naman, you wish to calculate the pOH, negative log mo lang. pH to pOH, ayan no, pH plus pH, pOH is equal to 14. Let's say you have pOH, you wish to calculate the pH. So, transpose mo lang siya to other side, ma-minus mo lang by 14, and then you will have the pH. And then, we also, also have this. The product, the ion product, or the KW of our hydronium ion and hydroxide ion is equal to 1 times 0 times 10 to 14. Sir, paano naman po? I wish, I want to determine the concentration of the hydro, hydronium ion. Pero ang given po ay pH. E di ayan o, no? uh, antilog, negative pH lang. And then vice versa, ganun lang din sa ating, pa natin, sa ating hydroxide ions. Hydroxide ions, uh, pOH lang yung given, but I wish to calculate the hydroxide ion concentration. So ayan, antilog mo lang siya. And then ganun, just you will use this formula for the strong acid, strong base calculation. And you'll have this sample problem here. Na i-discuss natin sa part 2 ng atis discussion. Napunta naman tayo dito sa ating mga dissociation constant natin. Sir, bakit po meron tayong dissociation constant? Itong one na ito guys, ito, this calculation is ang involved na dito kapag meron equilibrium expression if you wish to calculate the pH of the weak acids. Kasi nga yung weak acid natin, okay, ano natin? Yung weak acid kasi natin guys, okay, yung weak acid natin, Kasi, yung weak acid natin, yung weak acid natin, guys, is a, only a kwa natin. Okay, let's say this one here. We have, ito, we, meron tayong weak acid, weak acid, and we mix it with water. Ayan. We will form an equilibrium of hydronium ion and A negative. Now, dito mag arise yung ating equilibrium expression. Bakit kaya ganun? Yung weak acid kasi natin, guys, nagkakaroon lang siya ng 
partial ionization. Partial ionization lang yun ang nangyayari sa kanya. So, bakit kaya ganun? The weak acid does not completely converted to hydronium ion. Merong natitirang weak acid dun sa ating species. Ayan, no? Let's say, ito. We have this one natin. Ayan, no? Meron siyang weak acid HA and hydronium ion. Ayan. In our aqueous solution. Kapag kunwari, uh, ito, yung HA mo, is niligay mo sa may ating water, meron siyang hydronium ion and the portion of it acid. Unlike when you add, ayan, yung, kunwari ito ay H2O here, naglagay ka ng HCl dito, purely hydronium ion lang ang species na dyan. Pero kapag yung weak acid mo, ang nilagay mo sa may water, it will just generate a hydronium ion with a portion of weak acid. That, dito na mag-aarise yung ating equilibrium constant expression. Which is, ayan, for this expression here, it has a Ka, di ba? Product of overactant. Hydronium ion, ayan, hydronium ion times the A, negative, all over the HA. Isasama ninyo yung HA sa anya. And then, calculate the hydronium ion. Ayan, once na-alculate na hydronium ion, di ba? To alkylate the pH, ayan, negative log mo lang siya. So it is a two-step process para sa weak acid natin. Unlike sa strong acid natin, i-negative log mo lang and wala. Merong anang sagot. Sa weak acid, consider mo pa yung concentration ng weak acid and then magkaaroon ka pa ng ICE, ICE, and then ganun. And so these are the list of our pa natin mga common weak acid natin and their dissociation constant. Their dissociation constant or the equilibrium constant okay so ayan this is the exercise for calculation for the, calculating the ph to weak acids natin okay so this, this this discussion will be the part of our lecture which is a purely calculation and i hope you learned something in this lecture okay and see you on the part of our lecture which involves a calculation of our sample problems the answers to our sample problems okay thank you for listening guys and have a great day.